by Lloyd, we're going to go for a drive, mate. I'm going to show you the area. Let's go. Let's go. So you've got a Range Rover, haven't you? Yeah, I've got one. What have you got? Um, I've got the Range Rover uh, SVR. Okay, cool. Nice. How'd you find that? Yeah, it's nice. I think you get a bit of everything with it. Yeah, comfort, speed, luxury, you know what I mean? Sounds nice as well, doesn't it? Yeah. What was your first car you ever owned? Um, my first car was a white Volkswagen Polo. A white Volkswagen Polo? Yeah. I thought I was a boy, to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> what sort of engine do you have in it? I think it's a 1.2. A 1.2. What engine's in your SVR? Uh, five litre. <laughs> <laughs> it's such a difference, isn't it? Such a difference. I was getting smoked on the motorways in my polo. Was you? Oh. I bet you don't now, though. Nah. But to be fair, I was scared when I first got out of the car. Just so powerful? Yeah, a little bit. If you're driving around Bournemouth and you see a black top Range Rover, you know it's one of the boys. Yeah, that's one of the boys, yeah. <laughs> that's right, yeah. And what about learning to drive? What was it like for you when you learned to drive? Was it quite easy learning to drive? Yeah, I thought it was quite easy. Um, so I turned 17 um, in October and I passed in January. Oh, okay. In the middle of January. Well, that's not bad. How many lessons did you have? I think I had about 20 hours. Or 20 hours? Yeah, or something like that. Make, make sure you're natural. Was that after being on a PlayStation, like driving Forza or something like that? <laughs> it's all the need for speed. It's the need for speed. <laughs> what did you go for? Complete white leather with trim, like personalised stitching? Nah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> None of the personalised stitching. But uh, yeah, I did go for the. Like LK, just stenciled into the. That's not you though, is it, buddy? Nah. You're not flash, are you? That's, what, that's, uh, that's a good thing, mate. We're going to go to Hensbury Head now. We'll take you down to Hensbury Head. Nice. You know, it's just it's such a beautiful location. It's a beautiful part of the country. It's such a great place to be a Premier League footballer as well because mm. you've got everything. Then you've got you got the football. You've got the big teams coming down. Man United come down to play Man City, Chelsea, Arsenal. But your daily life in this area mm. is so the quality of life so so good. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yes, this is Hensbury Head. It's a bit blustery today, to be fair, but it's a nice walk from the sunshine. So yeah, mate, that's Hensbury Head. We used to do our pre-season training down there. We used to walk to the top of the hill or run, sorry, actually, we didn't run, walk to the top, we used to run to the top of the hill. <laughs> and then we used to run up and down the sand dunes. Um, old school, proper old school. But the things you do nowadays, because you're measured, aren't you? You're checked, you're measured. Yeah, everything's written down and recorded. Do you find that, uh, do you find that helps you personally? Are you aware of your stats? Are you aware of where you're at? Or do you leave that to the sports scientists? No, nah, personally, I like to be aware of where I'm at. I think it's the same with everyone, really, because um, then you can. There's a bit of competition, you know. What I mean, just healthy competition yeah. around the training ground for like sprints or jump height, for example. Do you find as a as a footballer, as a professional athlete, you're you're competitive in everything you do? Yeah. You never switch off. No, nah, I don't think so. Even when you're playing cards for Christmas, <laughs> you want to win, don't you? You know what I mean? Like, what, like beat your, your aunt and stuff like that? Oh, 100% my nan. <laughs> oh, all sorts. Yeah, I'll never come to yours for Christmas. Throughout the area, where have you been to? Have you been out much or are you still kind of find, finding your feet? Um, I think I'm starting to get to know the area a bit more. Um, so, a bit like Camford Cliffs, uh, Sandbanks. Lilliput, things like that, yeah. um, and then I think it's just through going and visit the boys and things like that. When you finish training at about two, three o'clock, your day's done. You know what I mean? And sometimes it can get a bit boring. So when the boys say, "Oh, do you want to go for a coffee or 
go to the cinema or go for food and things like that. It's nice to kind of link up what outside. Sort of, I've got to ask you, what sort of films do the footballers go to the cinema together to watch? Is it like love, love stories and stuff? Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. It's more like, it's more action or like maybe a bit of comedy here and there. A thriller, chucking a thriller now and again. You're back training now. How far do you reckon you are away from, from full fitness? I think, say two, three weeks, maybe less. We're ahead of schedule at the moment, which is good. Um, I'm feeling good. My ankle's feeling good. So everything's just coming together nicely at the moment. So you can see, see Bournemouth there, and you can see it's better now because we, we can see clearer. Yeah. It goes all the way down there, so you've got Paul down the bottom corner. Okay. And this goes all the way around to Swanage, which is like the Jurassic coastline. It's beautiful around that way. Um, when you settle down and you start to explore a few more places. I had a little drive down to Sandbanks last week. Oh, okay. It's quite nice, yeah. It is nice, yeah. The summer was nice. I think 60, 70 years ago, you could have just gone and staked a bit of land. Mm. Like none of the houses were there and that. It's quite a funny story, really. Whoever's bought a house back in that day. They've done all right, haven't they? Yeah, they've had a touch. They've done all right. <laughs> Yeah, done all right. Probably JT. <laughs> <laughs> JT probably owns Sam Banks now. <laughs> I used to, I had a taxi business. I dropped out of football a long time ago and I, yeah. I went and lived in the real world. And I went to a dentist one day. And just to get a fare, said, I didn't say who it was for or where he was going. He jumped in, it was Gaza. So Gaza gets him a taxi. Um, so I'm like, all right, Gaza. <laughs> I'm trying to tell him like I used to play in that, you know, mm-hmm. trying to make me, yeah. but he couldn't talk because he just had these implants. Oh no! <laughs> he had these implants, and he's trying. He wanted to talk because he's, yeah. he's polite. Mm-hmm. He couldn't. Call him at the wrong just, time. Yeah, I call him at the wrong time. Really. <laughs> yeah, the one time in your life you meet Gazzy, you don't it just after he's had dental implants. You know, <laughs> right? He's scrambling to talk. Man. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So you've had some success. You've had some international success as well. And you play for England. What levels do you play for England at? Um, so I played at under twenties and then under 21s last year um, and then fortunate enough to go to the 21s t- tournament in Italy which was a good experience unfortunately we didn't do as well as we, we first planned and hoped for but you learn loads of things while you're out there probably does sound a bit cliche but it's probably no better time to be an England football player England international because you don't know when you'll get your chance. Mm. There's loads of players that I played with last year in the tournament where they've gone on to kind of select, get their call up for the senior squad this month. So anything's possible, really. Yeah, definitely. I enjoyed this drive the other day. The sun was out, a bit of music going. What sort of music you again? What did I have going? I think it might have been a bit of Afrobeats. Okay. Yeah. I don't even know what Afrobeats are. What <laughs> <laughs> are Afrobeats? Oh, no. <laughs> what are Afrobeats? It's like a... I'm going to get grilled if I get this wrong, but... It's like a mixture between... Like a... African slash R&B... Like, mix. There's some UK, like, rappers that kind of... And artists that get involved in... Afro beats. Okay. So you do get some good tunes, you know. What I mean? Okay. So we're dropping down to Bournemouth now. And when I first come to the club as well, I remember, I remember coming down and talking to the manager. I think I come down with one, our old captain Ian Cox as well. We both come from Palace. Yeah. And I'm sure he said like, go for a walk. The manager, go for a walk. You know, go and look at the beach. Mm. And that's like what a great thing to do. That is when you're trying to sign players. And here we go, Bournemouth Pier. If this was a bit sunny, and this place would be rammed. Well, the kids have gone back to school now as well, so actually, to be fair, you can move a bit better. You've been on the big wheel? No, I haven't. What's your, what you like the heights? I, I could do that. You yeah, reckon? yeah, that's not too bad. We had um, last summer. We had the boys come down the zip line. That looks decent, we, you know. We brought them down here for breakfast for our recovery day, <laughs> and they said, "Right, breakfast done." All you gotta do now is you'll go down the zip line. Oh, and they're like that, looking again. Huh? <laughs> and to be fair, they did it, they all did it, did it in pairs. 
So we like to do things like that. We like to test our, our boys. Because you're living in town, you're living at the Hilton, aren't you? Yeah. So it's, 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 um, it's nice, literally just a walk across the road. Yeah. Who else is staying at the Hilton at the moment? Who you got in there? Uh, Jack Stacy. The new boys, yeah, because you're on ours in there as well, aren't you? Yeah, so on He's in there as well. All the players come when they first come, they stay there. Mm. It's so, a nice place, yeah. Yeah, it's a nice hotel. So here we are back at Hendy. Hendy Jaguar Land Rover. That's the end of our little drive. Sweet. Hey Kelly, welcome to Bournemouth. <laughs>